Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Garden of Banban 2. Now, the developers have very kindly given me an early copy of this game so I could cover it on the channel for you guys. And yeah, after the first game, I'm eager to see what this is all about, how it differs from the original, and how the story continues. So with that said, guys, let's dive straight in. Let's see what Garden of Banban 2 is all about, and uh, yeah, where the story goes next. Ooh, look at this. We've got another clock. So we're going to skip time forward again. It says, for a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advance time. So you have to look out for little things in the environments that change when we advance this clock, guys. So we click that. I don't see anything changing yet. The noises have gone. The noises of the workers have, have sort of disappeared now. Oh, so I think some tables disappeared then, right? Yeah, the lights have gone out now. Okay. I don't know if I missed something there. I didn't see anything else. The lights just went out. The voices stopped and the lights went out. And this, guys, wow, look at this. So this is where the last chapter ended. Of course, Jumbo Josh sort of pulled us down from above on this elevator contraption, this lowering platform. And, um, yeah, he's been crushed. So there we go. <laughs> He's already dead. Key card. Nice. Anything else? Oh, our little drone. We can retrieve it. Nice. It looks a bit busted up though, doesn't it? <laughs> it's all kind of bent out of shape. Right, so uh, we'll say goodbye to Jumbo Josh. He didn't last very long. See you later, my friend. Um, yeah, rest in peace. Right, let's get out of here. So you need to use a key card. There we go. And go through the door. Oh, man. We're into the underground area of the facility now, guys. It's like a Resident Evil game when you go to the lab at the end of the game. <laughs> you don't know what's down there. Oh, man. Look, it's like a... looks like a city down here. What the heck? This is weird. Man, look, we've got high-rise buildings all around us. So they built an entire complex down here. Right, another key card and a note. This is it. The things we've done finally come back to bite us. Everyone's gone, and the whispers from the abyss just keep getting louder. I think I even saw a face or two looking up at me. We were told everything that gets thrown into the abyss dies, but it appears we were tricked. If you're reading this, take my advice and leave. Everything here should be forgotten and erased from history. Well, I mean, I'd happily leave, but I don't think there's any way to sort of get out to the outer sector now. We've kind of uh, only got one way forward, and that's this way. So, medical sector that way. But it's taking us straight ahead, okay? Oh. Oh, it just lit up after I ran across it. And this is lit up now, okay. This is the testing sector. Little coloured dots going to the testing sector, okay. Can we use our keycard here? No, we can't. Maybe we have to turn it again? Oh, maybe we can rotate the bridge. We can't go to the testing sector yet, but maybe we can go to this one. Yeah, look, we can go straight up here. The comm sector. What the heck is this? The spider is real. No, not spiders. I hate spiders. We've got spiders in here, guys. There is an elevator to success, but stairs are good exercise. The spider is real and it's coming. Oh man, oh my god, what the, what the flip? What is that, is that the spider? Are you, oh he's gone. Wait, is he gone, gone? Yeah, he's gone, gone. Man, that is the spider. I think that's the spider they're talking about. Blue spider, man, that is freaky. Okay. I think we got to hit this button. Let's get out of here. That's on. Let's go. Ban Ban's kindergarten. Here we go. Look at this. Notice you're expected to punch him from the lowest to the greatest. Customer registration recap board. Okay, so these are the numbers we've got to punch in from lowest to highest. But where does it want us to punch in? We've got a button. We need to get the drone working again. Oh, there's some drones over here. Can we fix our uh, antenna? 
No. <laughs> Thought we could get the hammer and straighten out this uh, little antenna, maybe. Can't go through there. Okay, let's have a look around this place. Let's figure this out. See if there's anything on the desks. Oh. What is that? Hey, you there. Hello. I, I can see you on the cameras. Oh. I am so happy to see you. Hello. <laughs> I need your help with something. Wait, can you even hear me? Hello? I can hear you, I can hear you. Listen, if you can hear what I'm saying, wave at any camera. All right, there you go. I'm waving. There you go. You have to wave this. Did it work? Oh, thank God. I'm so glad you're here. I thought this was the end. I was looking around and walked into the security room. Then the door closed behind me and I've been stuck inside since. It needs a light blue key card to open, but I don't have it. I know why you're here and I can help you, but you've got to get me out of here. If I recall correctly, uh, only maintenance workers held the light blue key card. So you're gonna have to go down to the maintenance room and look there. Okay. The door there is probably locked as well, and I can't open it from here, but I do have control over the break room door. Here, I open it for you. See if you can find anything useful in there. Okay, so he's opened the break room door. Uh, let's have a look at these guys first, though. Meet the family, it says. Look, there's that blue spider thing we just kind of ran into downstairs. He's just hanging out here. And we got Slow Celine, who's a snail. This is a new character, of course. Jumbo Josh, Bambolina, and of course, Bam Bam. They're like, I don't know, friendly little couple. A Pillar Bird, Stinger Flynn. Captain Fiddles, which is a really weird name, and Sheriff Toadster, who's literally a toad. So I'm guessing we're maybe going to meet these new characters, uh, Slow Celine and Sheriff Toadster in this chapter. We've already kind of caught a glimpse of this guy, you know we're going to be running into him again. Anyway, apparently they've opened up, yeah, the door over here, so let's have a look. Just check for notes as well. Ooh, can we click on this? No tapes to play. Ah, so we can get a tape and then click on the TV screen. Okay, let's go. Emergency alarm. I don't know if we want that. What's this? Oh, we fixed it, I think. Yeah, we fixed the antenna. Hey! Our friendly drone has returned. There we go. Right mouse button to teleport the toy to the nearest room. Yeah, I remember that. There you go. He just teleports magically about. So there we go, we've got the drone back. That's pretty awesome. So, what is the objective here? Oh! Is that our friend again? Oh, the good old drones. <laughs> he doesn't sound happy about weeks it. Ago. Maintenance workers used them for all sorts of things, like reaching high places and, and grabbing things that fell into the abyss and sometimes even comfort. It's good that you have one. It might be useful in our little conundrum. Take a look around and see if you can figure out how to get into the maintenance room. I'm unsure if it can be of much help, but uh, wave at the cameras if you need my insight. Okay. That's a nice little mechanic, I like that. The toy can be customized by interacting with workbenches. Ooh. So wait, is this a workbench over here? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, look at this, we can change its color. We made him red, we'll put a little uh, cowboy hat on. And let's match a remote and apply. Alright, has it worked? Where's our drone? He's over here. Hey, I think it has worked. Come down here, little fella. Look, he's got a little cowboy hat on and he's red. That's cool. I like that. Alright, that's going to be your look for this video. I'm going to have to ask him again what to do. My memory is a little fuzzy, but I do remember something about management allowing workers with good scores to punch in later than those with worse scores. The better your performance, the later you're allowed to punch in. This was to encourage workers with lower scores to come earlier and perform better. Okay. Naturally, this meant that the person with the lowest score would be punching in first. To make sure that this was always the case, a, a system was set up to only allow the workers to punch in in the perfect order that assumes that nobody is going to be late. Yeah, this system wasn't very well liked. Yeah, it sounds terrible. It sounds like a really broken system. I guess we hit this button over here then. Let's get the drone. Here we go. 
Go on, hit the button. Stupid drone. Boom. A. Oh, I think we have to like hit the buttons on the desks now. They've lit up, but in the right order. How are we meant to do this? You're expected to punch him from lowest to greatest. So the lowest would be Shaver, I think. No, June. June's the lowest. Wait, Weatherly's the highest. So June three. So where? How do we know that? Oh, it's color coded. Okay. Would June be this desk over here then? Yeah, that's the first one. Okay, so second would be Drew with four. So Drew is dark red, it's this one. Then we need Rachel, six. So her desk color would be, that's the darkest blue, would be the lightest blue over here. Or is it this one? I think it's this one. Next we need Shaver, seven. So she's two up, so she should be here. Hey, we got this down, I think. Then we need Rahul, who is number nine, which is the darkest color of blue, so it's over here. Yeah, this is definitely the puzzle. And um, ten is this desk here. Then we should have 12 next, yep, HH. -h. So that should be this desk. And then we need just Weatherly, which is this one. Hey, we've done it, I think. Has that opened something? Oh yeah, it's open this, cool. Key card. Right, we've got the first key card. Can we go through the maintenance area now? Yes. Open sesame, let's go. Oh no, this thing, it's called Nab Nab. It says, Nab Nab says, it's okay to have no friends and be miserable like me. Man, you do look miserable. Sheriff Toadster says, treat others how you would like to be treated, with respect. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And then Slow Celine says, I may be slow, but I am quick to help anyone in need. Hmm. Well moraled snail. Fair enough, let's go. Ooh, we got a warehouse. All right, this is a vast area. Man, this chapter's already looking like it's gonna be much bigger than the original, right? Wouldn't be that hard. I think the original was like 25 minutes long, but still. I bet we get chased in this place at some point. Let's just try and remember the way. This way. Hey. Okay, we made it to the other side. So, what are we doing now? Remember to protect yourself with a hard hat and a high-vis vest. Look at this. These little fellas together. We've got something here. Oh, a tape! We can take that back and play it in the main room. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Yellow glass is a breakable material. The toy cannot be directly pointed at it. Okay. So... How do I know which order to do these in? Maybe I just hit this one first? Is this the first one? Where is it? Ah, oh, there's our drone. Okay. Hit this, my friend. There we go. One. Okay, that's done something. Now we need to hit this one. Hey, there we go. We broke it. And now, hit the little button. We've done it. Okay. And it opens the door. Wait, has that opened this door? No, I think it's opened the door below us. We've got to go back downstairs. Yeah, here we go. We go through here. Boo. Shut up, man. Got some uh, little pallets here. Okay, a key card. Key card can be used. Oh. Oh my god. What the heck was that, man? It was a. That creature was like lying in wait above us. E to be reincarnated, okay. Hopefully it starts us at the checkpoint. Yeah, we're here again, okay. That's good, it's good that it has checkpoint system. So he says boo, he's gonna get us in a minute. So, I don't know what we do here. Just run, I guess? Oh my God, look at him coming for us. Okay, we don't go upstairs. I think we have to run back the way we've come. 
We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna run, guys. I have to remember which way to go. I think we follow the blue arrows. I'm not stopping. I'm going this way. I've got to follow the right coloured arrows. Yeah, it tries to trick us with those coloured arrows. We have to go the opposite direction to them. Just follow the blue ones, so it'll be this way. And we've done it, I think. Hey! Nice. We did it. Okay. That was scary, man. It's Nab Nab. That's the creature. I don't like spider-like creatures. We escaped Nab Nab, and we got a tape, so let's go and play the tape before we do anything else. Oh, look. Is that Ban Ban? I think that's Ban Ban. He's like a prisoner somewhere. Huh. Is that all the tape has? I think so. Interesting. So we've got Bam Bam being held captive somewhere. Maybe he's a good character. Maybe he's like Bendy in uh, Bendy in the Dark Revival. He tries to help us. Okay, so now what do we do? We've got another key card. Which door is it for? Looks like it's for this one. Hmm. Got a note. If you... What the heck was that? It said if you read this fast enough, but I didn't, guys. I don't know what that said, because I heard the footsteps and I was scared suddenly. Oh, there's Bam Bam, what? Three birds with the one heck? stone. I get all of your key cards, I get the perfect specimen, and I don't have to deal with the thing down there. And it's all thanks to you. Oh, come on. I didn't eat you that hard. Or maybe I, I did. Either way, it's best you take a nap while I prepare for our little surgery. What the heck? So wait, is Bam Bam capturing us? And he talks? That's so weird. <laughs> and he sounds like really chill the whole time. <laughs> he has no emotion to his voice. Alright, well... He's captured us, and he's gonna perform a surgery on us now, apparently. I also didn't get to read that note quick enough, but it's probably a joke or a meme or something, I'm assuming. Where are we now, man? Looks like we're on a bed somewhere. Or a mattress, I should say. The key cards have been taken away. Great. Okay, so we've got like a trail of what looks to be blood going that way. Can we use our um, drone to smash this? No. He's not going to break that glass. It needs to be yellow glass to sort of break it. So we're out of luck. We can go this way probably. Oh, there's a, a paper here. Case update report. Case 6. Genome, human, case type 2, alias the devil. Summary. The procedure of case 6 has been a success. Case 6 is stable and performs tasks that are necessary for organic beings, such as eating and drinking, as predicted despite the lack of any biological necessity to do so. As previously observed on other cases with humans as the primary genome, case 6 recalls many memories and events belonging to the original genome donor as their own, excluding names of people as well as keeping an identical level of intelligence. K6 is also capable of speech as fluently as the original genome donor. Unlike the previous cases with humans as the primary genome, K6 is interestingly docile and cooperative, albeit very confused about the circumstances. Most previous cases displayed extreme hostility and nervous behaviour towards staff and children alike, a behaviour that has been attributed to the new genetical modifications that were applied case is not ready for presentation. So the devil, I'm assuming this is uh, Bam Bam. He's more docile and interactable. We obviously just met him. And the other experiments have been kind of hostile towards the kids and staff members. Anyway, we've got to figure out how to get out of here now. If we hit this button. Come on, drone. I'm going to name you Clarence. Clarence the drone. Oh, I don't know why I've named him Clarence, but there we go. Man, you're not very clever, are you? Go here, then. No, go here. Go here. Come on, Clarence. Please. Hey, Thank you. Okay, we've got a target there, and one here. What does this mean? Do we have to hit these? 
X marks the spot. Okay, that hasn't done anything. Oh, we have to, I think we have to lead him. So we lead him from here to here. I think maybe we hit this next. Bring it across. Hey, it worked. Okay, and now we can hit the button. I was confused by this puzzle for a while, guys. But that's it. So we have to bring it around and then hit that. Makes sense. Get the key card. Okay, let's make some progress. So we can now use this. Hopefully, it raises up uh, the floor or something. Oh, it's lowering something. Okay, that took a while. <laughs> there we go. What's that noise? I don't like that sound. I'm getting on, guys. I'm getting on. Let's go. So we've got another one of these moving platforms. Hopefully, Jumbo Josh doesn't ruin our party again. Are we actually going to get out of here now? Hopefully. We escaped to prison cell. Onward and upward, right? Here we go. Oh man, look at this place. This is kind of cool. I like the uh, the little stencils on the walls here. But what are we going to find is the question. What the heck is that? Do not cross. It will trick you. Do you mean it would trick me? Looks like a golf ball is- Okay! Wow! Whoa! That is a big eye. What the hell is this thing? Man, is that- That's not Jumbo Josh, right? That must be a different character. That's not the Toad Sheriff, is it? I don't know. Right, just back away slowly. <laughs> Turn around. Oh god, we got actual uh, bodies as well. And we've got a cannon aimed at him. Can we use the cannon somehow? This doesn't look like it. These seem to be bodies of uh, Captain Fiddles by the look of it. Go through here though. Okay. Oh, experiments. There's one just lying on the bed here. Look at this. Just chilling out. Okay, interesting. Got one here. Another little room. This one's just slumped over. Oh, he's missing an eye. Oh man, his eye just dropped out. He was looking at this. This was his torture. It was like Clockwork Orange. Child, baby, spelt wrong. Uh, elephant, fish. I don't know, man. Why was this torturing him so much? This is really lit up as well over here. Oh, we got notes. Okay, case update report. Case 1. Gervanium. Symbol GV. The summary. This isn't either a report, nor anything informative in the traditional sense, but a cry for help. Whoever's reading this, I implore you to discuss stopping this madness once and for all. Matters are bound to be sugarcoated when written through some colourful paper, but you do not seem to understand how bad things truly are. Every single case that has been developed thus far is in endless, excruciating pain. We do not know why, and maybe we are not meant to. I cannot imagine any of them ever being near a child, and maybe they never should be. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be. It would be unrealistic to shut everything down abruptly, so all I'm asking for is that you get down here and see things for yourself. Do not live up to the evil, faceless, corporate entity stereotype, please. We've actually got a, a QR code, guys, so I'm just going to check this out. There's another one here. He's just given up hope. He's like, screw this. It's gonna die. We can't get through there, I don't think. Nope. Denied access. What's this room? Another lab room? Yeah, look, we got one here. Just waiting for the doctor. He's like, doctor, I'm just uh, chilling here, just waiting for my checkup. Looking at the ceiling. Obviously something interesting up there that we don't see. And, uh, oh, we got a needle here. Or a syringe, I should say. So we'll take that. It says, distract before extraction. So it looks like we've got to extract all the colours of the uh, various test subjects. And then... Yeah, we put them into here. This machine needs a certain liquid to operate. Okay. So, we'll start by just taking this guy's colour, I guess. There we go. Sorry about that. Hope that didn't hurt. I think he's dead anyway. We've got one here, look. Is that the guy we have to distract, I wonder? Yeah, look. Because he's uh, 
obviously blocking our path, but we need his color as well. So we'll take the red color from him. And it seems like we can just keep using the syringe all in one go, so we'll just keep grabbing all their color. There we go. Extracting it. So let me extract it from your eyeball. And take this one. Take it from his uh, rump. Okay, now is the moment of truth. We got this guy. How do we distract him? If we get close to him, he's going to grab us, isn't he? So maybe if we use our drone, hit his eye. Boom. Didn't work. Hit it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Nice. It worked. Okay, that was kind of scary. I thought he was going to grab me. So I think we've got all the different colors. We can now put them into this machine. A. Hey. Look at this. Filling it up. Got to fill it one at a time though, unfortunately. Won't take it all at once. Is that done? Yeah, I think so. A. Hey, and it opens up. We've got a rocket. Ooh, can we light the cannon now and blow him up? Man, this feels a bit harsh. Look at him. He doesn't know what's coming. Alright, I'm just getting my drone clear of the area. Come here. Come here, drone. I don't want to... Yeah, you stay over there. I don't want to, like, blow him up by accident. Alright, let's try this. Oh, man. Oh! It hit him. And off he goes. Right, let's move quick in case he comes back. Open this up. Oh, we can actually go into this room now as well. Take the hat. What the heck is that hat for? I'm not going any further into that room. Screw that. And another key card. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. No notes in this room. All right, let's go. And let's move quick. Maybe that hat is something we can put on our, um, our drone or something. Okay, through the door. A. Access granted. Are we back? Yeah, we're back in this room. Nice. Wait, is that opened up now? Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> I just looked up and there's a giant face there, man. The heck? Outer sector, we can't go that way. Was this here before? Let me just check this. I don't remember this, like, white substance being here before. Oh my god, Jumbo Josh, he's gone. He's dragged himself away. Oh, great. He's on the prowl now, guys. Look at that face as well. What is that, man? What is this creature? That's absolutely horrifying. He's moving as well. Holy crap. All right, that actually looks kind of scary. Okay, so I guess we go forward now into the testing sector. This is probably going to be the final area, I'm guessing, of this uh, chapter. So, let's proceed. That's off. Oh, we need to get our little uh, drone in here. Okay, so you need to hit this button first because this is the uh, only one that's lit up. So, bring the drone over here. Now, this drone is so dumb. I swear it worked better in the first chapter than it has in the second. Hit the button, please. Come on. No, almost, though. You get a prize for almost. A. Okay, that's one done. Do this one now. That's right. Thank you, Clarence. And now come over here. Do this one. It's hard navigating this little drone about. There we go. And then hit this one last. And we'll be home free. Boom. Okay, has that lit anything up? It's lit up this button, I think. A. Hey. We've also got a note. Oh. I opened a door upstairs. First, I'm going to read the note. Phenicopterus rosus? I think that's uh, how it's pronounced. Maybe. I don't know, guys. This is case 10. This is the bird. So this is the uh, Apilla bird, of course. And the summary for the Apilla bird is... After the recent genetic modifications that were applied to Case 10, significant behavioural changes have been observed. Aggression towards certain demographics have been completely replaced with protective and motherly behaviour. Said demographics include individuals of smaller stature, high-pitched voices and those with childlike attributes. 
Individuals that do not fall into said demographics are still met with extreme aggression that can turn lethal due to the case's large size and possession of very sharp beak. Oddly, same demographics are also exclusively human, with the exception of Case 10A, Case 10B, Case 10C and Case 10D, E and F. All organic organisms, birds included, both adult and young, are met with the same level of aggression as humans who do not possess children-related abilities. Case is not ready for presentation, so basically the Apilla bird, as we heard about in chapter 1, guards the children, but anyone else it will attack, even its own kind. With that said, let's now go upstairs. Oh look, we've got some of that stuff we just extracted, that goop, in these barrels. GV it's called. Oh, we can actually modify our drone again. Should we put the little uh, party hat on him? No, the propeller hat. And let's change his colour. Let's make him a blue colour now. So now if we go down and check out our drone, guys, look. Got a little party hat on there. Or a propeller hat, I should say. It's the one we picked up after defeating that giant Captain Fiddles. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's go. I'm gonna move through the next room. Ooh, I like this. It's very rainbowy. Can we go for any of these doors? I don't think so. Man, this is a big ass room. Looks like we can go through here though. No, we can't. We can't access that yet. Okay. Just keep moving forward. I'm kind of scared things get ambush us. Oh look, how to survive giant snail attack. Stop. Go. Oh, so we have to look at his eyes and how they're positioned. If they're in the middle, stop. If they're out to the sides, go. Can we get through here? No? Oh man. I do not trust this. As soon as we open this door, you know he's gonna spawn in, right? Come on, drone, do your thing. One. Two, and then three. Okay, get ready, guys. It's opened. Oh no! Oh, it's the pillar bird. Quick, in here! Oh wait, I thought that was the pillar bird talking to us. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god! Who is talking to us then? It sounded like a little child or something. All right. Let's try that again. Quick, in here. In here, what in where? Where do you where do you want us to go, kid? Oh, in here. Go, 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 go. Close it, close it, close it. Okay. We made it. We made it. Who's talking to us? Oh, it's Bambolina. Wait, is she friendly? Everyone I want you all to welcome our newest student. I don't trust her. You're late to class. I'll let it slide this time since it's your first day, but be late again and I'll rip you to pieces. You're a new and unpopular student, so you will have to sit with the unpopular table in the middle. Now sit so we can begin. Oh man, she's gonna try and school us. Look at all these things, we've got bowling pins. Sit. Okay, I'll sit with the bowling pins. Where do I sit? Where do I sit? Where do you think you're going? No! Oh my god, she's chasing us, guys! Ah! Please, no! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we got a jump scare, at least. I didn't know where she wanted us to sit. She didn't give us very long to decide. I wanted to decide who I wanted to sit with. Do I want to sit with a bowling pins? Do I want to sit with a watering cans? Or the basketballs with sunglasses on them? Now sit, so we can begin. Okay, let's try it again. Do I just... How do I sit? Oh, I have to sit here with the uh, watering cans. Okay, class. So the first lesson of the day is math. No, I'm Over terrible at math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn how to annihilate others, how to safely extract the human brain for eating, and what? Oh, wait, I made a mistake. This isn't a biology class. You said it's math. Of the day. <laughs> for math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn to Cycle add, subtract, kindness. divide, multiply, and so much more. I am so excited. Oh my god, Before this is creepy. Start, let's revise some of the basics. Okay. What is 6874123612 plus 9819399912? I don't know. Remember, wrong answers will be very harshly punished. <laughs> I, how am I meant to know this? I guess I'll have to like use my calculator maybe. Smart kid, weird kid. Oh, really smart kid. Maybe we just 
pick really smart kid, right? Seven eight five six zero six three five two four. It worked, I think. Correct. Hey. You kids are Thanks really paying attention. Thanks for your uh, for your assistance, there, little yeah, watering can. And one that I wrote myself. Okay. What is two plus two? Two plus two. I guess I'll just ask the smart kid, right? Correct. Hey. Wow. I thought everyone would get it wrong. Nope. That's All an easy right. one. Last question before your lunch break. Okay. What is misery plus disappointment? I guess we ask the dramatic kid. My life. Correct! <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for math for the day. Okay. Go to your lunch break, and then we'll start the next lesson when you come back. So, I go to my lunch break. I don't know what that- What the heck? Oh, we go over here. Man, that actually made me jump then. <laughs> this is so weird. You want to save this twerp? Give us your lunch money. Oh, it's like a little playground with bullies and stuff. Man, this is nuts. Please save our friend. He's getting bullied over here. All right, I don't know what I can do. Can I touch that? The unpopular kids need your help to save their friend from bullies. Okay. So I do... The bullies are demanding money to release their victim. Okay. So maybe we pick up these little scraps? I don't know. We've got these little scraps here. We're the cool kids and we chew gum. Get us gum for money. Ah, oh, I get it. There's some money there. I think I need more gum somehow. Oh, yeah, there's a piece of gum here. Right. I think we've got enough gum now. We've got five pieces. Let's put it down here. Hey, and now we can take the money. Yes. Sweet. So give us lunch money. Put the lunch money there. Oh, yeah. I think now we can pick up this guy. Put this guy over here because we've saved him. And that's equilibrium, right? That's balance. Yeah, this is opened up. Now we can get the sunglasses. Okay. Oh, was that for the drone? Attention, everyone. This announcement I'm confused. concludes your lunch break. Please return to your classes. That's Bam Bam. Also, teachers, please keep in mind that we're on the lookout for a very, very naughty student. Believed to be accompanied oh, no. by a drone. If you catch them... Call Principal Ban Ban's office immediately. We gotta hide our drone <laughs> quickly. Let's get out of here. Hey, you didn't see the person they're talking about, did you? Oh, what am I saying? You're one of the cool kids. Of course, you don't talk to ugly, unpopular kids. Like no, I guess that. not. It's kind of harsh, though, Take kind of singling the kids the cool out into kids different groups like this. Belong. But I guess we join the cool kids at this table and kind of level up in the social okay, hierarchy of the, the playground. Next lesson is science. Like we did science, math, okay. And since this is the first science lesson of the semester, it will only be a review lesson. But first, let me introduce you to our classroom rules. No eating, no talking, no breathing, no moving, no asking questions, and no washroom breaks. Remember, I will have to punish you very, very harshly if you break. I guess, but I mean, I do kind of have to breathe. That seems a bit, a bit too strict, right there. Easy. How hot is the sun? How hot is the sun? Maybe ask the popular kids? Nothing's as hot as me. No! <laughs> <laughs> Was that right? I'll allow it, but only because it made me laugh and because you're a cool kid. I can tell by your very cool glasses. <laughs> Next question. I think that was fine. Okay, How good. How hearts does an octopus have? Oh, man. Sea life lover, right? Stinger flip. Correct! Okay, that worked. <laughs> hmm. That's half right. Since Stinger Flint is close to an octopus, he's a jellyfish. But I'll allow it. Since you're a cool kid. Okay, our answers no, no, just go through no matter what. Have three hearts. We humans have one. And Stinger Flint has. Um, I'm not sure actually, but let's move on. He has three as well. We Next got it right. Question. We have five senses sight, smell, taste, touch, and. Um. I guess I'll ask the loud kid. Oh, oh no. Correct. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh, that that you was just fine. Maybe use my fifth sense. <laughs> oh yeah, cuz he screamed. I'll allow it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for science. Guys, we're acing these. Go on to your second break and then we'll start the next lesson when it's over.
I actually think this is quite cool. This is quite a well-designed second chapter, guys. Like, the first one, you know, I was lukewarm on it, as you guys know. But this is actually kind of cool. I mixed up the gameplay mechanics. It's kind of interesting. It's fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this uh, uh, quite a lot, actually. So, we've got money here. Let's take that. I don't know why we're taking the money. But we'll make it make sense in a minute. Okay, so we've got all the money. You want to join us, punk? Give us some lunch money. All right, so there's the lunch money for you. So we're going to join them on the next class, obviously. And this is now opened up and given us a bowling pin. Okay. That was easy, that one. Attention, everyone. This announcement concludes your second break. Please return to your classes. Okay. Let's go. Okay. That was kind of creepy. Oh, wow. Three new kids in one day? One unpopular kid? Yuck. One cool kid and one mean kid. So these are the mean Welcome. kids, are they? Sit on the table to your left where you belong so we can begin. Aw, oh, man. We've joined the bullies now. We're part of the rough crew. Okay, kids. The next lesson is health and kindness. Just like we did for math and science, it will only be a review lesson. Let's start with some common knowledge to freshen your stupid brains. Can anyone here give me an example of an unkind person? Give an example of an unkind person. It's got to be this one, right? I will beat you to death. <laughs> Lovely. Correct. That is a perfect example. Good job. Good job. Thanks for... Assuming Get me through that. Me, of course. Nope, definitely not. Now, this time, can anyone give me an example of a kind person? Give an example of a kind person. Um, maybe. Do we go with mean kid or pain giver? Maybe pain giver. I will give you immense pain. Correct. What? How is that right? Exactly. That's horrible. Giving other things without expecting anything in return is exactly what kindness is. <laughs> This class is going to be great. What the heck is I that? I feel it. I just heard something. Wait, what was that? Yeah, what was that? I wonder if it's a new student. Nobody move while I check it out. Okay. She's going to check that out, guys. Off she goes. Around the corner. Okay, while she's going, can I... Escape, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit this. Come on, drone. Hit the button now. We get out. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shut the door. Nice. Okay, we're through. Don't snitch on me skipping and I'll give you some gum. Alright? No! Not again! Oh my god. I actually tried run, to be a good run, teacher run. this time. Well you tried. I mean you weren't terrible. Although you were kinda cruel. But we're gonna get out of here now. Oh my god, little baby of pillar birds, what the heck? What the heck? Do we follow them? Oh, that's so cute! Are you gonna try and attack me? Oh my god, they... That's so cute! Oh. Okay. This is weird. I don't know why the lights are going on and off. Get the key card. Oh no. Why am I opening this? Why am I opening that? Mother of pillar birds coming! Oh my god! What the heck? Why did I do that, guys? I don't know why I opened that, because I saw her standing on the other side, but I thought, oh, we have to do this, obviously. So wait, what is this? We've got, like, a hole in the ground. Oh, no. I think we have to get all the babies into here, right? Come on, little fellas. Come on. Oh, we picked them up. That's so cute. We're just holding him, look. And then we put them over here, like this. Oh, that is... Okay, that is kind of adorable, guys. Back down here, then. Grab him. That's two. So the lights go on and off, basically, so we can't see them very easily. And they're probably going to flash on and off, like, faster and faster, I guess, as we go on. This reminds me of this part from this game called Inside, where you have to lead the chicks, <laughs> unfortunately, to a wood chipper. Oh my god. Okay, can I grab you? 
That light is annoying. Yes, we got him. Don't worry, little chick. I'm just going to put you in a soft little rubber ring over here. I'm assuming we can't, like... Oh, this one's going this way anyway. No, I was going to say, I'm assuming we can't pick two up at once. We definitely can't. If we could chase them all this way, it would be very beneficial, though. Oh, there we go. Little fella. We got him. Oh, no, I dropped him. I got him, and then I dropped him. Okay, I've got him again. Yeah, I think if we put all of these over here, guys, what will happen is the uh, mom or a pillar bird maybe will leave us alone, go to see the chicks. I'm not entirely sure. Where's the last one? Come on, little chick. Here it is. Is there another one? Or is that it? I feel like this is it now. We've got six in there. There's not going to be any room for any more. So now do we go back and see if we can open the door, let out the pillar bird? Maybe. Oh my god. I'm, I'm running this way. Okay, he's down there. Go. Oh, I think it's going upstairs. We made it, we made it, we made it. Oh my god. Find and enter the appropriate door. Okay. Before you get got by the snail. I think what we have to do there, guys, is obviously I moved. We shouldn't have moved. So what we'll do is we'll stand still at the start and see if this works. Find and enter the appropriate door before you get cornered. Okay. So we... We stay still at the moment because his eyes, are, or her eyes, I should say, are up straight. But once... Oh my god, wait. Hello? Okay, now we can move. Now we can move, now we can move, now we can move. Go, 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 go. Or now we have to stay still again. It said to find the appropriate door. Oh, man. We have to wait, you see, now. Until it stops again and searches around. Uh, Where are you hiding? Okay, go, 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 go. Go. Into this door, right? It's gotta be this one. Go, go. Frickin' open. Okay, we're in. Guys, I'm, I'm running. We made it. We survived. Oh my god, that was scary. We can actually uh, tinker with our drone again if we want, but I'm not going to right now. Look at this place. Got a beach setting. Got some cannons. Rules of the cannon game. Cannons must be fired at the lit buttons. So these buttons, I guess, right? Only one cannon can be fired at a time, and the timer must not run out for a three rounds in total. Okay. Let me just have a little sweep of the ground floor down here. Oh, little seashell. Do I need to collect these? Don't know why I'm collecting seashells, but I'm not going to question it. Ooh, okay. Stinger Flynn mission. Stinger Flynn likes to collect seashells in his chest. Find him eight shells to get your prize. Okay, now it makes sense. I don't know how many we've got. I think that's four so far, right? Let's keep looking. Oh, there's one here. So that's five, six, seven. Maybe one could be upstairs. Oh, there's one here. Yeah, there is one here. Okay, great. Let's go back down. Pop it in there. Okay, that's eight shells. What's our prize? Ooh, key card. Nice. Don't know why we need the key card. Probably maybe to activate this little cannon game. Let's try. So we need to collect one of these guys. Alright, it's this one. Okay, that's done that. Now we need another rocket. Like this one. Boom. Okay. What's the next one? This one again? Okay. It's just one at a time, right? It's just one button we're doing. 
I guess it's just randomized. So it can be the same one twice. Hey, so that's one round done. Okay, round two. Okay, so we've got to light this one. Fire in the hole. Grab another rocket. This one. Yeah, it's getting a little trickier with round two. Because it can be both sides. And round three, I guess, will incorporate the ones downstairs. Hey. This isn't too bad, guys. This isn't too bad. Where's the next one, though? This one. you got to be kind of quick. It's not too bad. It's not too bad once you know what you're doing with this. Hey, we did it again. Okay, final round then. Just got to follow the targets, light up the cannons, fire those rockets, keep the ammo stocked up, and we'll be home free in no time. This one. I'm sure there were cannons downstairs, so I'm not sure if we have to use those as well. Maybe. That one. Let's go. We're like the John Wick of cannon games, guys. <laughs> this isn't too bad. Where are we going this time? This one here. Okay. Light the cannon. Boom. I think we've just got one more to do. Which one is that? Oh, it's downstairs, I think. Yep, quick. We got it. Is that done? No, we've got to get we got to do another one. This round's longer. down. It's this one. Hey. That's it. We've done it. Okay, that's all three rounds complete. So now this opens. Yeah, look at that. Through we go. Slaps, handshakes, stings. <laughs> oh, this must be Stinger Flynn's area. We've got another note. Case update report. Javanium. The case mentioned in the previous report has moved an arm, as if its artificial nervous system has worked for a split second. As predicted, GV seems to provide identical functions to blood when combined with cases 3 and 6 of type 5. Mammalian circuitory systems are ineffective. So the GV is like what they pump into these things to keep them alive, kind of like blood. The case of type 2 from the previous report has also had a strange physical effect. GV appears to expand in size where it is set to flow and as a result the case has grown a number of veins across its body and has grown significantly in size. Neither growth appears to have any kind of negative effect beside the risk of looking unpleasant to use. We're going to proceed with adding more cases of type 5 into the cases of type 2 from the previous report in pursuit of a more lifelike behaviour. Studies of GV continue to be performed. Right, let's collect this key card. Activate that. Has that done anything? I guess we maybe head back now to the, like, the main room where the snail was uh, and see if the snail's gone and also if another room has opened up because we did press a button in there. And I think there was one more room in this hallway we hadn't accessed before. It's a little further up this way. Yeah, it's over here where our drone is. We should be able to get into here now because we've got the key card. There we go. Ooh, this goes down. No platforming section. I'm not going to be good at this. Another note. Dear Mommy, I am okay and Claire is okay. The nice jellyfish saved us from the big bird and the evil red man. We are going to the jellyfish's home and that's me and Claire jellyfish. Okay. I think that kid wrote us a note in the first chapter of the game. There's exercise, so it's best to save your breath. Oh my god, is Stinger Flynn going to come up from, like, below or something? This is insane. Ah! You have to be really...
careful when you're doing these jumps. Man. You can almost fall off every one. Ah, so close. I hate these kind of sections. Okay, we made it though. So now we just... Little jumps. Little jumps. Tiny jumps now. Okay, we made it. Are you kidding me? You know one wrong move and it's going to be all over, right? Ah, no! Oh, man. This is going to be so hard. Oh, we can't go this way. That's why, because we've got like a... A thing there, okay. We've got to be careful. We have to head this way. Oh my god, we've got to... Are you serious? Get across this? And up. And up. And across. Oh, to the winner's corner, man. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's do it. Okay. Almost over jumped there. Oh. My god, this is so floaty as well. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We've got this. So where are we heading? We're all the way around there, right? Oh. oh my god. That was horrible. Okay. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this. Jump to this one. To this one. Hey, a tape. Give me that tape. <sighs> my arm is cramping up from this. Okay. So now we jump to here. To here. <laughs> this is so intense. Oh my god. Okay. So it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. You can do it, Mike. Come on. We're all rooting for you here. I almost fell then. Little jumps now. Little jumps. Another jump. Another jump. Big jump. Oh man, we gotta be careful here so we don't hit that. Okay, do not fall now. We just gotta do a little bit more. I almost fell then. I jumped too early. Okay, now we just need to go across here. Over here. To here. Right, this is the final jump now. Oh my god, we made it. Case report, let's read this. Case 10. Uh, Struthio camelus. I think that's pronounced for bird again. It remains unknown why Case 10 is aggressive towards all adults. Conditioning also remains as ineffective as it was in the first report. What has been discovered, however, is the reasoning behind the seemingly random instances where Case 10's eyes became bloodshot. Bloodshot eyes have also been linked to unusually high levels of aggressiveness. This behaviour has concluded to be the direct result of Case 10 witnessing or hearing the suffering of Cases 10A, 10B, C, D, E and F despite having an abnormal colour scheme and any and all individuals possessing childlike attributes. Examples of said childlike attributes have been described in the second update report. Case is not ready for presentation. And we've got another little QR code here, so let's scan that. So we're going into the winner's corner now. Alright, let's do this. Oh no. Almost there. I'm not looking forward to what's on the other side. There's cake there, though. It's like Portal. We get cake for completing it. Hey! Oh, look! We've got a Bambolina and a Bamban dancing together. Oh, no. We've got all the monsters with doors here, though. Why? Man, I don't trust this room one bit. This cake's just spinning. Okay, let's um, have a look around. Anything we can do? Can we interact with the cake? Can we get our drone in here? Oh, oh, Bam Bam's come up. Hello. You know, on a normal day, you'd be standing where I am, behind the safety of this glass. Like you were in a zoo watching some animals. He's resentful of the people that raised him. Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time, where all the doors open, so we must keep No! Going. Look. Uh, I'm sorry I hit you, but you gotta understand. I needed something from you that I could only get if you were unconscious, and I was all out of sedatives. If you'd seen me, you wouldn't have trusted me, I, I know it. Maybe he's not but so bad after all. one thing I didn't like you about, 
and that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. Yep. I too am. I'm working towards saving them, if you can believe it. Hmm. But someone Don't know if I trust else you, buddy. Them. Someone far stronger than you and me both that resides deep in the abyss. Oh no. Oh no. You've got to go. There's okay. an elevator in Opilla Bird's walkway. Okay. Take it and, and we'll talk again down there. Okay, cool. No. All the doors are opening. Let me through. Wait, do we have... What the heck? How do we get through the Opilla Bird's walkway? You've been a bad student. What? Oh my god. Maybe we have to go this way. No. What the heck? I couldn't go through the Opilla Bird's room. It didn't let me. <laughs> oh. Okay. You've been a bad student. Okay, we, yeah, we go through here now. It opened. I just didn't see it last time. Let's just run. We're being chased by Bambolina. Oh, my God. Okay. Jumbo Josh is also here. Ah, oh, my God. What do we do? Go, 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 go. Holy crap. That was close. I don't... I don't know what we do. I'm just going to keep running. I'm just going to keep running here, guys. I don't know if left was right. Oh. Well, obviously left isn't right, but I don't know if left was the right way to go there. I'm not looking behind me either. Screw this. Oh, we got an X. An X marks a spot and a door. There's a button. Hit the button. There's Bambolina. Oh, wait, maybe she... Yeah, we make her... <laughs> we make her go on the X and she gets grabbed. All right, should we shut that now? I think Bambolina's dead. I'm just going to grab that without stepping on the X. She got squashed by Jumbo Josh. And we can go through the door. Okay, that was quite the chase. GV, wow. They've got some big ass tubs of GV right here. They're pumping these mascots full of this stuff. And look, an elevator. Can we get out of here? This has been a long chapter, man. This has been like nearly two hours I've recorded for. Probably have to chop it down quite a lot. So we're going deeper into the complex now. I wonder if this is where it's going to end or if it's going to go on a little longer. No matter what, do not go down there. What do you mean? We've already gone down. Oh, the snail. The snail just stopped it. Oh, no. It, the snail made it go down deeper. A cool hat has been unlocked. What the heck? Is that it? Thanks for playing Wishlist the sequel here. So there's another one. I guess these are chapters. They're not full games, are they? So this is chapter three, which is coming soon. Okay, cool, guys. Well, let's go back. Let's talk about this game a little bit. So first of all, I think it was a big improvement on chapter one, which isn't that hard because chapter one was a bit janky and a bit short and a bit anticlimactic. This actually had some decent like moments. It had some cool mini games. It had some uh, cool enemy animations and it was actually had some good humor in it as well. I thought like the classroom sequence was a highlight. It was a little bit kind of quirky and weird and off the wall. The chase at the end was actually quite cool, um, sort of having to figure out where to go and obviously Jumbo Josh trying to crush you, Bambolina chasing us everywhere, she gets crushed, that was quite awesome. And you know, that was that weird face thing as we walked through the middle area, which was really creepy. There were definitely some highlights to this and some things that I really enjoyed about it. And to be honest, it surprised me. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. And I can actually recommend this game at this point. And with that said, guys, that brings us to the end of Garden of Banban 2. Now, I probably will do a story explain video on this as uh, you guys tend to enjoy my story explain videos for the games I play. For now, this is my let's play done. I don't know if it will be one part or two parts because it was quite long, but hopefully, however I ended up releasing it, you have enjoyed it. And if you have, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.